Okay, now that we've gone over her buttons, let's go over combos with Kami. Now, this is where I really don't ri know where to start with Kami. I guess I'll start if you have no meter and no sidekicks, so you, you just have to do a completely meterless combo. You can do something along the lines of this. So three attacks into her quirk two string. To the floor spot, jump into the air. Armor attack into the assist. Into that. And it'll do 8,388 damage, completely meterless, which is pretty amazing on its own, and that is nothing compared to what she can do in the uh, to come. So, that is. I'll do it again. That's her completely meterless combo. No dash cancels and no supports. Oh, uh, yeah, a different way you can extend it is by going into the air at the end. But yeah, you, you saw it before. It's pretty easy to do. I just like messing up when I'm under pressure in recording because that makes my videos really great. Here we go. Yeah, so 8,300, 8,200. Easy meterless damage, which is pretty ridiculous. So now let's go into if you want to spend a dash cancel. Uh, the way I like to extend combos if I'm using a dash cancel with Kami is I dash cancel after the second hit of this because it leaves them in a long bounce animation and you can actually go into the a hit into the support or to air hits into armor move into the fake support and I'll show what that looks like now. Oops, sorry, I'll do that again, hopefully without lag. And then you go into her regular meterless combo all over again. And that, oh my god, it does 10,200 damage for one dash cancel. A single dash cancel. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I don't usually use supports in my breakdown videos, because usually combos with supports are pretty personalized and you just bring out a support at the end of the combo and it doesn't really matter as long as you have a good uh, support. But with Kami, I feel like it's really important to her combo and playstyle because she really gels well and flows with her supports. It re they really add to her, mainly her combos. They just make her combos really amazing and it, they work very well. So I've chosen Bakugo and Nezure because they are supports that come back comparatively quickly to other combo ones like Jiro or Aizawa. And that means by the time you've finished your combo with um, Kami, if you use Bakugo or Nezure, they're practically back by the time you finish your combo, so it's like you didn't even use them. So, here's an example of what a combo looks like if you... Uh, it's meterless uh, by using a support to extend it, so... There we go, 10,500 damage, completely free, Bakugo is back, and it's basically like I didn't spend anything. Bakugo was gone for like a split second after I finished the combo, but that's it. it it's practically a free combo that does 10,500 damage, which is ridiculous if you think about it. Like, no dash cancel, and technically, or sort of, no support, because he come back, comes back instantly. And she can do even more damage if you do decide to spend a dash cancel. So this is what a combo looks like if you use a dash cancel. And you bring out the support as she lands on their shoulders. So I want Bakugo in the corner. Oh wait. I don't know what I was just doing, I didn't do the, the dash cancel that I wanted to, sorry. Here we go again. One, two, bring out Bakugo as she lands on his shoulders. Oh my goodness, sorry. There we go. 12,200 damage for one support and one dash cancel. 
that is ridiculous. And as you see at the end, my meter actually... Wait, let me do this again. I think my plus ultra gauge... I have it on refill, but I would have used a dash cancel. I think I got back the whole gauge by doing the combo, so technically it costed me nothing. I'll do it again. Oh, oops, nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, look, Baku goes back, and I'm back at full meter, so that combo, all on its own, essentially cost me nothing, because I gained everything back that I used in it. That is ridiculous, she's got 12,200, or it did 111 there, I messed it up a little bit, but 12,200 damage combos, completely free basically. That's ridiculous. Now, I'll show you again what a combo looks like if I decide to use two supports. And this will be completely meterless. You essentially just do the same thing, but twice. That's 13,000 damage, no dash cancel, my supports are already back, so that was essentially almost basically free as well. The, oh, Kami is ridiculous in this sense, it's it's crazy. Uh, yeah, um, if you're thinking whether I could do the um, add a dash cancel into the combo like I did in the other one, that actually leads to a meteor blow before I'm able to complete it normally. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. But essentially, it, it doesn't really work, at least to a meaty blow, and you don't get as much damage. So if you're gonna use two supports, just do it meterlessly, and you'll get 13,000 damage. If you're gonna use one support, I suggest using one dash cancel. And... Oh, if you do the other extender... Oh. You get 12,500. So yeah, one support, 12,500 and a dash cancel, but you get everything back, or two supports, and you get 13,000 and you get everything back. She's completely ridiculous in that sense, and your opponent is going to be using their sidekicks all day to try and stop you doing your combos. But when they're, all their sidekicks are gone, that is when you go in and do all of a sudden your 13,000 practically free combos. Um, another combo that I want to mention, uh, something that's really dirty, is with her red attack. So it's quite slow and you don't usually get anything off of it, but you can go into really, really nasty, really dirty um, setup, is if you start the animation and then press your support, because then the, uh, the red attack and the support are hitting at practically the same time, so it's unavoidable, unblockable, uh, sort of, if they're not running away or something. So if they stand there and block for like even a second when you start this up, the redness is starting at the same time as the support's hitting, so they can't dodge because they'll get hit by the support, and they can't just sit there and block because they'll get hit by the red, it's completely... it's so awful, and you also get a combo off of it. It does a lot of damage. And I guess I may as well show you that you can add plus ultra ones into her combos just to do even more damage. If you just feel like it, doing more damage and looking flashy, just do this! <laughs> 17,700 damage, and you bet the same thing can be done with her plus ultra two. So I'll do her double sidekick combo for that one. So there's a completely meterless combo into her plus ultra too.
You know, just casual 18 and a half thousand damage. You know, that's, that's fine, that's fine, you know. It, uh, my support's are back, I didn't spend any meter except for the plus soldier tube, but you know, that's fine. Just like all of our other combos, when you're all of a sudden doing... When you're doing like 12,000 damage, you know, casual, you know. I'm Kami, this is easy for me. I just get, you know, 12,200 damage combos for free. You know, that's just, that's how, that's how it goes, if, you know, in Kami Town. I just get free 2,000 damage. It's ridiculous, guys. And her attacks are already so fast. Like, people get caught by this constantly. So, oh, oh, you got hit? Oh, that's cute. You, you just lost 12,000 damage if you don't have any supports. Oh, and I actually have two supports, so I can make my combo even longer and more ridiculous. <laughs> she, oh, she's just so ridiculous. It's horrifying, but it's so fun to use, guys. I, I hadn't been playing Kami at all before today, and I just learned these combos and learned this evil red stuff. Where she can go from her plus ultra. Well, she can go from um, her red attack. Into these, like, easy high damage combos. Completely unavoidable. Completely free 2000 damage. It's ridiculous, guys. Um, and a side note if you want to get even more damage, she actually has uh, recovery, non recovery mix ups. So if you let hit someone and end your combo with this. Press Quirk 2, and if they recover, there's no way that they can avoid getting hit by the Quirk 2. So if, say if I've done a long combo and I end with this, into this thing, and they recover, unless they're like really lucky like Bakugo was then, and they managed to recover the right way, there's practically no avoiding getting hit by the Quirk 2, which just adds an extra like 4,000 damage to the end of your combo. So you know that 12,000 damage combo we did before? Now it's actually doing, you know, like 16,000, you know, that's fine, that's fine. 12,000, 16,000. Easy damage for Kami. And if they don't recover, then you can do some extended Beatless combos. So if you do three hits into two hits of this, then that all combos if they, oops, if they don't recover. So three hits into this, into only two hits of this, and then you go into her regular combo again, into the support thing. Oops, make sure it combos. Oops, oops, that usually works. There we go. Keep in mind, this has been meterless this whole time. Just because the enemy decided not to recover. Because, you know, it's probably a mix-up because you've been doing like this the whole game. And hitting them with your extra quirk too because they've recovered. So for once they decide to not recover and then they get hit by 9,000 completely free combo. And it could be even more if you decide to put in... Oh my god, your supports and stuff and just... She's just so dirty, guys! It's ridiculous! Okay, I'll leave you with her plus ultra too. I just I can't talk about Kami anymore, guys. She is just ridiculous, and but she's so fun. I hope she, when the balance patch comes out, she doesn't get nerfed too hard. But she's just really fun to play, and I hope they don't ruin her combos. Maybe do less damage. I think she can have a, a bit of a damage nerf, but no combo nerf, please. I like doing her amazing. <laughs> like meterless and sidekick combos. It's just so fun. So please don't take this away from me, developers. You can nerf her damage, but no, don't nerf her combos. Anyways, guys, this has been a long video, but damn, Kami is OP, and I love it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.